for me, it's about bringing people together and knowing that people are loved. Um, you know, I think that you, you know, love is something that people use. And when it comes down to it, it's about loving people no matter where they're at or what's going on with them. Tonight's hometown heroes are members of a nonprofit looking to provide awareness, education, and outreach programs that support and uplift the special needs community and those with disabilities. This week, I caught up with two of the leaders for Heroes and Halos who say this honor is very humbling. We got started because we saw there was a need. A need to be that helping hand for the special needs community and those with disabilities. Sure. Kelly Hempner and Mary Alice Arginovic are just two pairs of the many helping hands that support the mission of Heroes and Halos. It was something, it was just, it was a calling that I had that God laid on my heart to do. The organization got its start in the early 2000s, and then in 2012, after a safety day event, Heroes and Halos was officially born. I think it's amazing to see where we started at. Um, when we started, Kelly was running support groups um, out of a local church. Um, now to see that, you know, last year for our Angel Tree for Christmas, we were able to um, support and help 302 children. But the support doesn't stop there. Heroes and Halos also holds family fun nights, student ambassador programs, first responder training team, and the list can go on. The more people we meet and the more people, stories we hear, it just makes us want to, to help them to be successful and to help them to know how much they're loved. Um, because just the simple thing of loving them and giving them a place to be can just can save their lives and change it. Love is the fuel that keeps this ministry moving and growing. With everything that we do, it is, it's meeting people where they are, loving them for who they are, um, no matter where that is, and showing them that, that they matter. Hempner and Sergenovic says that there's more love, more hope, and more help that is to be given to the communities they serve. Anybody can do this. You know, anybody can step up and volunteer. You don't necessarily have to have an education or a background, you know, with individuals with special needs or disabilities. Um, we're always looking for people to learn and to come and join our team. And as we get closer to the holidays, the organization is looking to help families during that time. Head on over to our website, WYTV.com, if you would like to be a part of their efforts.